Section 542 of Griffith's Introduction to Electrodynamics. This is a summary of our A's and B's and J's. Uh, this is Jonathan Gardner. If I go too fast, you can always rewind. Have any questions or comments, throw them into a video response or in the comments below. And I hope you um, be sure to like and share this with your friends. So back in chapter two, we did something for electrostatics. Now we're gonna do something for magnetostatics. So, and this time I'm gonna drop big. Last time I drew it way too small. So we have our J vector at top. And then over here we have our A vector. And then over here we have our B vector. Okay, uh, if we have a J vector, how do we get our B vector? So our B vector is equal to mu naught over four pi of the integral of j vector cross r hat over r squared curly r uh, d tau. Okay, you should know that formula. What if we wanted to go from b to j? Well, then we know that the the curl of b is equal to mu naught j, and we also know. Oh, well this can be expressed in um, uh, inter uh, integral form as well. Um, I believe it's integral of v vector dot dl is equal to mu naught. I'm gonna kill myself here. Let me go check in the book. Um, mu naught. Oh, it's the integral of j dot dA, I believe. Yeah, mu naught i enclosed. Um, integral j dot dA, yeah. That's how you go back there, okay? That's how we go between j and b. And then how do you go from between uh, b and a? Well, the b vector is the curl of the a vector, okay? And as we've seen, and that problem that we just did, we have also that the um, closed loop integral of a dot dl is equal to the um, flux of the magnetic flux. Okay? So that's how we go from b to a. And how do we go from a to b? Well, uh, wait, this is how we go from b, a to b. This is how we go from a to b, b to a. Ah, just look at the math. So don't pay attention to me. Okay, there's some remarkable similarities between A and B and B and J. So, what about J and A? How do you do that? Well, we have, if we have the A, we just take the Laplacian of the A vector, that's the Laplacian of the X component, Laplacian of the Y component, Laplacian of the K, the K component, and that will give us a negative the mu naught of the J vector. So that's to go that way. And if you wanted to go the other way, I shouldn't do this to you. This is torture, isn't it? Um, then we have the a vector is equal to mu naught over four pi of the integral of j vector over r d tau. Okay, so slightly easier to solve than this one. Okay, and that is the triangle of fun that uh, will help you translate between j's, a's, and b's. So um, hope this helps. Um, you probably want to. Memorize all six of these equations for yourself. Um, and at the same time, review your electrostatic equations because in a couple chapters, we're going to get right back to it. Thanks for your time.